My shields are like a field of steel. My, yes. Anyway, it's not really important. I've been asked to stand here and waffle for a bit. I don't really know why. <laughs> then uh, again, we all need a hobby, don't we? Me? What? what? Could, could I have some help with the comic? DC! <laughs> anyway. Do you know he's the 52nd customer who's done that? What I'd like to talk to you today about is some of the signings we've had over the past few months. The first is a book by a good friend of mine, Andy Frankamalian, or Andy Frankamalan, and it's the first part of a four book cycle called Seeker. It's called The Garden Saga, so uh, check it out because it makes Twilight look like a bunch of mushy peas or an off duty haddock called Walrus. The story of the everyday saga of a man's coming of age. Uh, it's coming of vampires and, well, let's face it, lots of coming. It's just been nominated for the Rainbow Award for Best Supernatural Fiction of the first half of, tw of 2011. See this book? Why is this interesting? Well, people go on about Twilight. Oh my god, it's so gay! Well, actually, this really is gay. In fact, that's what the Rainbow Award is all about. It's the best gay supernatural fiction of 2011. Check it out, it's rather impressively done. The only sparkly vampire you'll get in here really is wearing glitter. It's got one of the best vampire blowjobs ever written. They really do suck. Mark Howard Jones, yeah. Songs from Spider Street. Yes, this is the next book that we once had, well, that we had a signing at. And effectively it's good. I'd hesitate to say very good because I tend to say it too often. So let's just say it. it's a very well-written story about, you guessed it, a future Paris overrun by strange spiders. So dark are some of these noir tales that it's like looking into Roald Dahl's crack. Yes, there we have Dexter's Half Dozen. Oh, and while you're down there, about a bunch of inept soldiers from the British Army who actually go behind enemy lines during the Second World War and meet a vampire lord. Not one that actually sparkles, mind. More rips you to shreds and then sort of spits on your grave. What makes that book interesting and what makes it unique is that comic in those three or four weeks has sold 122 copies. Now you compare that to Superman, which has sold 30 copies, compared to Batman, which has sold Ooh, 40 odd copies. That makes that comic a bigger seller than anything that DC has put out during DC 52. As a book and as a storyline, it's grown over its first six issues, but more importantly, what it's done is it's created its own audience. That is impressive. And that's the power that shops like Comic Guru can do. We can get your book out, we can get what you've created out there, and more importantly, you can actually sort of benefit from high sales and, of course, a lot of really good exposure. Trust me. Contact me if you want your book, if you want a signing, if you want your book sold. Trust me, I'm the person to help get it out there. Thank you, that was all for the second Comic Guru update. I really, really appreciate you joining us, and I hope you do so again. You've been wonderful, and I hope... Watch so out! DC! Oh, IDW.